morning everyone welcome thanks for joining i wanted to do an update today on how my juice fast went i did the full three days of just the juices i did different variations i did a green i did a beet i did a carrot with pineapple the first day um, was fairly easy it did get harder the second day was hard the third day was really hard but i did it um, I did alleviate a lot of stomach issues with that. Dropped around five to seven pounds. Like, I don't really know because the scale is, I fluctuate so much. I would say five. Most of that is water weight, of course. Um, but I did feel really good. I ended the fast with a salad. Um, I didn't really introduce cooked foods. For the first couple of days I did salads I did smoothies um, but it went well and I do I mean I, I would definitely would do it again I don't know I would do another three-day one just to get more used to it and then maybe try a five-day one we'll see but you definitely do not want to go over um, three days I wouldn't go over for me personally I wouldn't go over five days without a, a doctor monitoring me and if you're new to this you always ask your doctor because if you could have underlying conditions that this is not a good um, it won't pair good with that if you're diabetic so definitely always contact your physician and make sure they're aware of what you're trying and they sign off on it because um, fasting we never know how we're gonna react I was confident that I can do a three-day with um, fairly smoothie without any problems and, and it was fine. I think the key is not to only drink the juice, is to make sure you are fully hydrated. I drank a ton of water. So I think if I didn't drink as much water, I would have felt dizzy and you don't want to feel any of that. Um, I was a, a little bit tired, especially on the second and third day, but that's normal. Um, but definitely it's something um, if you want to give a try I really did enjoy it. Remember, just ask your physician and make sure you get the all clear from him. But what that did is that just gave me a little boost. So I'm going to try and incorporate a fresh juice every day into my um, regimen. Every day I have a fresh juice. I'm even looking about getting a new juicer, one that's a little bit um, easier to, oh, there's my doorbell, hold on. Sorry about that, I am back. What was I saying? I was saying, I was thinking about getting a new juicer. I think it's called the Nami juicer. And what I like about that one is it's bigger. So you can pretty much put whole fruit in there. Like I can, well, this is a big apple, but if it was a smaller apple, I could probably put the whole apple or cut this in half. It's just less cutting. And basically you load it in the juicer, you close it and you can walk away. You're not sitting there feeding. So I think, because I'm gonna make juicing something I do every day, I think I'm gonna invest in that. I have a great juicer. I, not the, um, I have the Omega, which is great. It's a, a slow juicer, but it does. I have to sit there and feed it, and then you gotta clean it. So it makes you think twice about juicing, but I am gonna consider it. It is very pricey, but we'll see. And it's pretty looking. Um, if I remember, I'll link a picture of it below. But that's how it went. It went well. I definitely do recommend if you are able to give this a try or even just to incorporate more fresh juices and just eating more raw in your day um, would make a big difference. But I'm going to have a smoothie right now. This is a smoothie I do all the time. I have my spinach in here. I'm going to use some dark sweet cherries. I've been having the hardest time finding cherries. And I found this at Winn-Dixie. I'm in Florida, so I found them at Winn-Dixie. I'm going to use some flax seeds. I'm trying to get my omega-3s in here. Uh, and I'm going to use my protein powder. This is what I'm, I always use. Love Sweat Fitness. I get this on YouTube. A young lady 
as a YouTube channel sells this. I always talk about it. I'm gonna do a scoop of that. So I'm getting my protein in. I'm gonna do some almond milk. And because I won't be eating for a while, I am gonna put a little bit of raw almond butter in here. If you're watching your fats, you may not wanna do this, not necessary, but I'm trying to stay full from this smoothie. I'm just gonna put about that much. And I'm gonna add a little ice and blend it up. Here's my smoothie. Let's taste it. Oh, it's delicious. And you can use a date if you don't want to use protein powder because my protein powder is sweetened with stevia and monk fruit. So it has a little sweetness or you could just use nothing at all if you don't like sweet things. But thank you for watching. Let me know what else you would like to see on this channel. I hope everyone has a great weekend and I will see you soon. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.